Welcome to the podcast, Claim Your Excellent Life, with your host, Suzanne Kellner Zink, where she helps professional women learn how to be happy. Suzanne will teach you how to do this through building high self esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques, self esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness, as well as other useful free gifts for you. Today's episode of Claim Your Excellent Life, we're going to talk about this issue of people-pleasing. It's something that comes up periodically on Quora, and it's something that is really, truly important for us to get an idea of how to best contend with it. Because this is my take on it, at least through all the years that I've been in practice, working with people who have this particular situation going on with them, it's unhealthy. Why is it unhealthy to be a people pleaser? Well, there's a few different reasons. First of all, you want people to know you for who you are. There's not one person on planet Earth who is perfect. So other people are not gonna be able to relate to you if you're perfect. It's just the reality. We all have our little quirks. We all have our idiosyncrasies. Some of them make us crazy. Some of us, well, we miss them the most when people are gone out of our lives. And so this is something that needs to be understood. If you want to be relatable to other people, embrace the fact that you have some things that you're really, really good at and some things that you're not so good at and certain personality quirks that you can always either work on or just accept as that's part of who you are and that's fine you know years and years ago i realized i was a fairly eccentric person that i didn't really fit in the norm of what most people's expectations would be in this world especially when i decided i hated corporate america and everything it stood for even more so these days that's for sure and wanted to do my own thing it's the reason i became a hypnotist instead of a hypnotherapist or therapist in the conventional world, per se. Because, frankly, I didn't see that these things really helped people. I wanted to do work that was based on what the old-time hypnotist did. Get in, get out, and let people move on with their lives. Hypnotherapists, I don't know why they want to use that terminology other than the fact that people feel like therapists. People are really good people to be with. I don't know. I don't really get it myself. Old-time hypnotists were really fast and effective what they did, and I'm really happy that most of the time I can give people their results in a really, really short period of time relative to anything else they've ever tried in their lives. So that's a really great thing. So people-pleasing is just one of those things also that you really are kind of like two people. You know, there's the person who's trying to please the person that you're in front of, and then there's the person that you are inside and there's this dichotomy in it. it can create shame for a lot of folks actually. So I want you to kind of think more deliberately about just being who you are and being happy with who you are and if there's things that you need to clear up or to make better, well welcome to the human race. We all have those things that we need to do to better ourselves and it's an ongoing lifelong process quite frankly because that's what allows us to grow. And growth is what life is all about, and I don't care how old you get, you can always grow. It's actually a beautiful thing to know that you can always grow and become a better person inside and out. Really, really, really important. So I want you to stop this people-pleasing thing, because this is the other thing, actually. I forgot about this. This is like super important, something I learned from my eating disorder clients. I'm talking about the anorexics and bulimics in this case, because those are the people that I am extremely gifted at helping. Not that I ever had those problems, thank God, but they taught me everything I needed to know to help them. And this is the way it goes. They get very resentful when people don't give them credit for making those changes that are the people-pleasing changes. Why? Because I never tell the other person what they've done in order to make them happy. And they get resentful and angry. And it's never a way to go. So just be humble. Be true to who you are. Be aligned with who you are as best as you know how to do and just clean up the, I don't know, rough spots as you go through life and you'll be perfect enough for anybody who's worth being around in the first place. Well, that's my message for you for today.
And as always, I thank you for spending your time with me till next time. If you have enjoyed Claim Your Excellent Life, we'd really appreciate it if you go over to iTunes and give it a five-star review. If you have found Claim Your Excellent Life to be helpful to you, and maybe even life-altering with the information that we have shared here, and to allow us to continue this work, which we really do enjoy doing for you, you can sponsor us at patreon.com. That's spelled P as in Paul, A T. R E O N as in Nancy dot com. Again, that's P as in Paul, A T as in Tom, R E O N as in Nancy dot com. Where there's a few different levels of sponsorship that you can choose from to help us to continue doing this work. We thank you for any assistance that you are able to give us. Thank you for listening to the podcast, Claim Your Excellent Life, with your host, Suzanne kellner Zink, where she helps professional women learn how to be happy. Suzanne teaches you how to do this through building high self-esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques self-esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness as well as other useful free gifts for you.